In late July, a South Korean scientist from the relatively unknown Quantum Energy Research Center claimed to have created a material that was a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure. The material, known as LK99, became a viral sensation online and in physics labs as experts rushed to recreate the material and test its properties. The discovery of superconductors could revolutionize the world by enabling highly efficient energy transmission, faster transportation systems, advanced medical imaging, sustainable energy storage, ultra-fast computing, and more. These materials could transform industries like power distribution, transportation, healthcare, and scientific research. But unfortunately, in a recent study, scientists found that LK99 isn't a superconductor after all and is actually a less efficient conductor than copper at room temperature. The Chinese lab, known as the International Center for Quantum Materials, reports that LK99 experiences what's known as ferromagnetism, not superconduction. Going even a step further, CMCT also points out that the resistivity of LK99 at room temperature is about a billion times higher than copper, saying that LK99 seems to be an anti-SC. A superconductor is a material that conducts electricity without any loss of energy. When electrons flow through a wire, they interact with the atoms in the wire's lattice structure. This interaction causes resistance, which leads to the loss of energy in the form of heat. Now, in a superconductor, something magical happens when it gets really, really cold. The electrons start working together in pairs, kind of like holding hands. These pairs can move through the wire without bumping into the atoms, so there's no heat created and no energy lost. It's like having a road where the cars can glide smoothly without any stops, so, if the newly discovered material LK99 is not a superconductor, does it mean that we are still a long way from making a breakthrough in superconductor discovery? Well, finding a superconducting material that works at room temperature and pressure is not the main objective of scientists. For centuries, scientists have been trying to understand how and why electrons in superconductors behave differently. If we figure out the mechanism that allows electrons to flow freely inside a superconductor, it would be a major breakthrough in science. Because this will help scientists to create superconductors that can work at any temperature and pressure. And the discovery of LK99 could have helped scientists study this mechanism. But unfortunately, LK99 turned out to be a normal conductor, not a superconductor. Well... In a recent research, scientists at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign have found something extraordinary in a superconductor, and they believe this discovery could solve the age-old mystery of how a superconductor works. Researchers have found strange demon particles inside a superconductor, and they postulate that these particles are responsible for the magical free motion of electrons in the superconductor. By the way, the existence of the demon particle was predicted by physicist David Pines in 1956, but the idea was rejected due to a lack of evidence and research. But recently, scientists have finally found a demon subatomic particle in a superconductor. Normally, electrons in solids combine with other electrons and lose their individuality. Studies have also shown that electrons with some threshold energy can form composite particles with a new charge and mass called plasmons. Dr. Pines theorized that if a solid has electrons in more than one energy band, as many metals do, their respective plasmons may combine in an out-of-phase pattern to form a new plasmon that is massless and neutral called a demon. These demon particles are the reason electrons flow freely inside a conductor. This is a major discovery in the field of science. With this discovery, scientists can repeat the process of how a superconductor is formed. Peter Abermonte One of the authors of this study said, Demons have been theoretically conjectured for a long time, but experimentalists never studied them. In fact, we weren't even looking for it. But it turned out we were doing exactly the right thing, and we found it. The team argues that it was no accident that they found this serendipitously. 
They were trying to test a not widely studied material with a non-standard technique, and they found something different. Well, in the future, we will know more about this discovery, and we hope that this discovery will help scientists to create a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure.